This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette. For a moment, let us take a look at a fictitious scenario. Let's say a person, an engineer, has been working on a project to introduce more efficiency in a manufacturing process. He has been working so hard on this project that he has neglected to spend time with his family. He introduced some modifications to the machines and when they run the test, they find out that there's really little, if any, improvement at all. He becomes very angry and very frustrated, goes home, loses his patience, and viciously scolds his children when they really did not do anything wrong. Perhaps many of us have had a similar experience in our life. We really had our hearts set on something, and then when it fell through, we became quite angry and irritable and took it out on someone else. In such a situation, we need the gift of piety, which helps us to live the second beatitude, blessed are the meek. In the last column, I wrote about St. Augustine's first stage of growth in the Christian moral life, in which the gift of the fear of the Lord helps us to live the first beatitude Blessed are the poor in spirit by helping us to become humble. In the second stage of growth in our Christian moral life, the gift of piety helps us to become meek, to become docile to the word of God. St. Augustine says, and I quote, Piety corresponds to the meek, for he who inquires piously honors Holy Scripture and does not censure what he does not yet understand and on this account does not offer resistance. And this is to be meek. Whence it is here said, Blessed are the meek. End of quote. So the gift of piety helps us to become meek, which St. Augustine sees is an attitude of docility to the Word of God and how we live the Word of God in the circumstances of our life. The gift of piety helps us to be detached. It keeps us from putting too much importance on things. Instead, it sets our heart on living the will of God. In other words, when we become meek, we no longer obstinately cling to anything that stands in the way of living the Word of God and following His will in our life. We learn to let it go. For example, when we become angry and irritable that something we had our heart set on fell through to the point that we take it out on someone else, we need to learn to become meek, to let it go, to let go of anything that stands in the way of living the Word of God. Sometimes we might not want to change our bad behavior. Perhaps there is some sin in our life that we are having difficulty letting go. The gift of piety helps us to be meek, to be docile to the sacred scriptures, to let go of anything that stands in the way of following the will of God and living the sacred scriptures in our life. We learn to let it go. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette.